How does an American first president respond to this dramatic escalation? Joining us now to discuss Florida Congressman and former Green Beret Commander Michael Waltz and former Deputy Assistant Attorney General John Yu. Gentlemen, great to have you. Thank you. Hi. On his way up to New Jersey, President Trump had this to say about Iran. Iran is showing their colors. Going to work out very nicely. Iran is in big trouble right now. Their economy is crashing. It's coming to a crash. They're trying to bring soldiers back home because they can't pay them. A lot of bad things are happening to them. And it's very easy to straighten out, or it's very easy for us to make it a lot worse. Congressman, is that a bit of a warning shot? Well, I think the president's uh, clear that uh, the maximum pressure campaign is working. Uh, the Iranian regime is desperate and lashing out as it's done in the past. If we look at some of the, the statistics, their oil exports have dropped from two and a half million barrels per day to less than 400,000. Mm -hmm. Their currency is, uh, in, is tanking. Their economy is inflating. Uh, it, it, it is working and they are lashing out as they've done in the past. And this is part and parcel to the other uh, uh, attacks on tankers and other things that they have done. So I think, you know, at this point, we need to keep up the pressure. The president does need to be clear that we are not looking to go to war, uh, that we are looking to drive them back to the table where we have the advantage to strike a better deal. And I'll, I'll remind folks, the reason they came to the table in 2012 in the first place for the Iran deal uh, was that the sanctions regime was working so well then. The thing the regime cares about the most is its own survival, right. not its people, and its back pocket and its wallet. To our attorney, John, what about these actions by the Iranians going after ships in international waters? Well, first, we should be clear that Iran has committed an illegal act. These British ships were in international waters mm -hmm. that everyone in the world recognizes. You have the, every nation has the right for its ships to freely sail in those waters. Seizing them is illegal. The second point we should keep in mind is that British American ships have the right to defend themselves. This is exactly what Iran did in 1987 and 1988 mm -hmm. when they started uh, to get frustrated, the Iran-Iraq war, they started attacking tankers, and the U.S. Navy stepped up and started guiding, uh, escorting convoys of tankers through that exact same strait. Iranians attacked those naval ships, and the U.S. Navy took out several Iranian ships, several oil platforms, caused a lot of harm to Iran's Navy, and Iran stopped. If Iran is risking a confrontation like that again, and I'm afraid the U.S. Navy will have to defend American ships sure. in that strait. Congressman, I interviewed former yeah. Special Ops Commander Admiral William McRaven last night. Here was his take. The United States does not want to go to war with Iran, and the Iranians clearly do not want the United States to go to war with them. It benefits no side. So I think we need to be thoughtful about how we approach this. We need to recognize this is kind of the way business is done in the Gulf. They will mm -hmm. continue to test us. Uh, I'm just concerned as we continue to ratchet up the rhetoric that it will serve neither side well. Congressman, do you agree with the Admiral? Well, I think he's, he's absolutely right in that Iran is emboldened by perceived weakness, and they back down when faced with strength. And I think that's why uh, you saw them back down when we were faced with intelligence a few months ago that they were about to strike uh, Americans in the region. The president sent an aircraft carrier and bombers, and we saw the Iranians back down. What I'm most encouraged about is consistent reports that Iran is no longer able to fund as well uh, the groups like Hezbollah, Hamas, the Houthis and others, they can't make payroll, and they're having to pull back their operations in Syria and across the region. The regime is in desperate financial straits. Mm -hmm. They see an ex existential threat, and they are going to try to create a crisis, both to divert its domestic populace and to galvanize the uh, the community to try to to try to back down. Uh, I encourage the president to keep up the pressure. It's working. Congressman Michael Waltz, John Yu, thanks so much for your time.